Hey there everyone, this is Danielle. Just a quick Animal Crossing video. Uh, you might recall last time I had unlocked the Island Designer app, which lets you mess with uh, rivers and cliffs and put paths in. Um, you had to unlock each of those things separately by spending Nook Miles. In that video I unlocked the, the cliffs and I unlocked the rivers, and I did not unlock any of the types of paths. Now I have all the types of paths, so let's have a look. <laughs> let's just start it up, like so. Helmet it up, there we go. Okay, so we have a look at the list here. Uh, we had a uh, dirt path, which is what you start with, and grass, which is nothing. Uh, you can get stone, brick, dark dirt, arch tile, sand, terracotta, and wooden. Uh, I've used a lot of stone paths, if we go have a look over here. Uh, you can see outside my house here, this is stone. And you can put stuff on it, and it looks good. You can put a fountain like this, it looks pretty nice in my opinion. Uh, you can't mess with this area still. Doesn't let you do anything to the plaza. Uh, but over here we've got some more stone paths, leading up to this house. And also over here to the museum, so you can do some pretty nice looking stuff in my opinion. Uh, over here we have a little bit of terracotta, but I might add a bit more while we're here. Just to demonstrate, the pathing path is exactly the same regardless of what type of path you're using. You just hit the button, it plops it down, and you can just place it wherever you want basically. Subject to a few limitations here and there. Uh, that, that is actually getting in the way, so I'll just move that for a moment. Then I'll put it back. It's not quite the same spot. Um, there we go. And then you can bring your path back up and keep going. So yeah, um, just a bunch of different types of tiles. You also have the option this one costs a little bit more in terms of Nook Miles, but it's also available. You can use any custom design. Not pro designs, just basic ones, but you can use, you know, like a trans flag, make a path out of that, if you feel like doing so. Uh, I'm not sure what happens if you try to curve it. Let me just have a look. you got to put two next to each other to be able to curve it, uh, like so. Uh, it looks like you can't actually curve custom paths, which is a bit annoying, uh, because you can make curves on all the regular paths, but you could just make a design that is curved and use that instead of your basic design for the parts you want to have curved. So, that's okay. Uh, not too bad. Um, anyway, yeah, so these paths look pretty good in my opinion. Uh, and you can place them pretty much wherever you want, and it's free. It doesn't like, you don't have to spend money on these paths or anything. So it's pretty easy to do whatever you want. Oops. Uh, do -do. Yep. Uh, you've also, of course, got the same things as before. These don't change once you've got them. There's just the one version. Um, no more upgrades to be had, which is a little disappointing, but it makes sense. Um... And yeah, you can make some real nice paths. Uh, I did, you might recall in the previous video, uh, I went over here and I made a bit of a, a I guess, a, a poor villager's bid, bridge sort of thing, uh, where instead of actually buying a bridge and installing it, I just put some land like this. While this works, it's not ideal. Uh, the main problem is that if there's a fish in the water nearby, this little jump is enough to scare them away. So you don't want that to be the way you're, you cross the river because the river often has fish in it. Um, it does work. Um, it is, however, a little bit slower than crossing a bridge normally, and it scares away fish. So we are probably gonna put a bridge over here uh, in this video to replace this thing because while it works, it's not ideal. So let me just grab my waterscaping permit here, and just convert this back to normality. There we go. There we go, now that's a good room for a good spot to put a bridge. I believe we have enough money for a bridge. I'm not quite sure how much they cost actually, uh, but we'll have a look. Do -do. 
So to make a bridge or an incline, which is a ramp basically for getting up onto the cliffs without using a ladder, it's pretty similar to adding a bridge to avoid using a vaulting pole, but for ladders. <laughs> uh, let's talk infrastructure. Uh, bridges and inclines. Let's let's uh, build a bridge. Okay, so there's a bunch of types of bridge. You can see, oh wow, they are quite expensive. Uh, the log bridge is the cheapest, and it still costs 98,000 bells. My goodness. Uh, if I just pick log bridge, will it just let me do it? A log bridge. You sorry about this? You want to proceed with this bridge? Yes, please. Excellent. Let's set our location next. Use the bridge marker kit I provided within your pockets to set aside some land for our bridge project. Use your kit near a river and you'll be able to imagine how a bridge will look. Okay, so it gives me a kit. Uh, pretty much whenever you construct anything in this game, you get a kit like that. So, um, yeah, I haven't actually done this yet, so this is the first time I've tried to do it. Oh, there is one bridge that you construct as part of the story, which is the one over there, but I thought it might be a bit different for the real bridges. So, yeah, we'll see. Ba -ba. Okay, so I was thinking right about here. So let's see, build here. Uh, too close, to, it'll block the flow of traffic. Oh, it's too close to this house. All right, uh, over here. This will work pretty much the same if it fits. Yeah, let's have a look. Let me imagine it. Yeah, it looks good to me. Okay. I picked a spot for a bridge. Let the land connect. My phone is ringing. Hello, Danielle. Tom Nook here. Did you find a good spot for the log bridge? Found a great spot. Wonderful. Now, as part of the kit you set up, Lloyd will stay and collect donations for the construction fees. Island residents can contri contribute little by little. Once you reach our goal, construction will begin. Oh, okay, this is how it worked in New Leaf whenever you built something. You would see a little guy right hanging out there and you just gave him money over time and when there was enough it would build. So yeah, this is the same as in that game. Of course, you can feel free to make whatever hefty donations you want, Danielle. And if you don't make any hefty donations, our goal might never become a reality. Yeah, uh, the other villagers in town sometimes put a little money in, but very rarely a decent amount. So, it's not great. Uh, okay. Do -do. So, we're gonna need to probably get some more money to give to Lloyd here. Uh, hello Lloyd. Hello good friend. Right now I'm taking donations for a log bridge. Our goal is 98,000 bells. Currently we have zero bells in donations, which is just lovely, isn't it? A little passive aggressive there, Lloyd. We'll say 98,000 bells. If you can spare even a single bell, great. We'll appreciate your support, friend. Um. Hmm. Sorry about that. The recording decided to drop for a little bit there. Um, hopefully it'll come out fine when I merge it together. Uh, anyway. A little bit passive aggressive, Lloyd. Uh, sure I'll help. Uh, should I donate? Uh, I feel like I want to get more money before I donate, but let's just plop in 10,000 for now. May I have 10,000 bells as a donation, friend? Donate. Thanks for the support, chum. Okay, so... Yeah, it works exactly like in New Leaf. You set up a location by, by going to the right spot and saying, here's where I want it to be. And then Lloyd appears, and you can start donating to Lloyd in order to actually get it built. Fair enough. Um, I thought it might be an upfront thing, because houses in this game were upfront. You've got to pay 10,000, and that sets up the plot, and then they move in to it. Um, but no, when you're building a bridge or whatever, it is still based on donations after the fact. Which are mostly from you, because no one else bothers to do anything with their lives. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I mean, it makes a little more sense in this game, because in New Leaf you were the mayor of your town, and you were the only one donating to anything, and you didn't get paid for being the mayor, so that was a bit weird. Here you're just a resident, and you're doing resident things, and you happen to be the resident who gets the most money, because you, you know, put the effort in to expand your house and stuff. So it makes a bit more sense, I guess. Um... 
What are the things I needed to do for the Nookmiles? I don't remember. I was trying to spend bells to buy items, that's right. Completely forgot. Uh, got to customize items as well. Uh, the uh, hot item for today is a robot hero, which is like one of the hardest items in the game to make. You need a gigantic amount of gold nuggets and you need all these rusted robot parts that you find very rarely in the recycle bin and it's it's absurd. I have, have not made one and if I do make one I'm probably not going to sell it as the hot item. Oh my goodness. I'm a neon tetra. Adorable. Uh, uh, customizing is super great by the way. Uh, when it works. It doesn't work on everything, but for example, here's my clothesline with a Sylveon sweater on it. I think that's pretty cute. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of things you just can't customize, and I feel like maybe they'll change that in an update, but maybe not. Um, they might leave it the way it is. <sighs> da -da. Caught him on a butterfly. I guess the butterflies are democracy now. Hell yeah. Take that, monarchy. I love to destroy the monarchy. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so... Uh, we have to amass some currency in order to build that bridge. I could maybe draw on my savings a bit. I think I might have enough. Um, let me think. I need, what is it, 88,000 bells? Yeah, 88,000 bells. Uh, maybe another time. Okay, yeah, I can definitely get 88,000 bells out of my storage. Well, not storage, my, um, my uh, bank account over here. But yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I think a bridge takes a day to build, like most things in this game, so we probably won't get to enjoy it immediately, but we'll see if it does take a day to build in this game or not. Uh, ADB. Withdrawal. Yeah, that drew on my balance quite a lot. Uh, the reason I have no loan balance, by the way, is I paid off the loan for the second floor today, which means the basement will be built tomorrow. And its loan is even more expensive. It's it's ridiculous. It's like two and a half million bells, basically. Yeah, uh, big numbers game. <laughs> Hello, Lloyd. I've tried, um, in New Leaf, I've tried to, like, wait a couple days to see if other people put in some money, and they never do. Y you have to do it yourself. Like, maybe they put in, like, a hundred bells or something, but that's nothing. Because you need 98,000 bells. Next step, project completion. Alright, we reached our donation goal. Thanks to me. Hello, good friends. This is the plan location for a log bridge. We've hit 98,000 bells and reached our goal. Now sit back and wait for project completion, bud. I assume it's by tomorrow, but it's not telling me, so that's a bit annoying. Uh, I did intend to put it back over there where the previous bridge was, but that house was in the way, so I didn't. Um, you already saw that, though. You knew that already. Um, ba -bow, ba -bow. Uh, what else can I demonstrate? I don't think I don't remember if I've been to the Able Sisters yet today. Let's let's visit there. Uh, I guess my videos don't need always need to be long, but eh. I've sort of grown accustomed to making long videos. I guess <laughs> here we are, the Able Sisters. Um, after you've talked to after you talk to Sable for every day for a little while, she starts. I'll see if she does it or if I've already done it today. It's sort of silly since I'm inside the shop all day, but sunny weather helps me work faster. Maybe it's just that I'm making shorter sleeves. Um, basically once you've talked to Sable enough that she considers you a friend, once per day when you talk to her she will give you a set of patterns, and those patterns can be used 
when you're customizing certain items that have room for a pattern on them. Um, I'll see if I have something to demonstrate that with. Uh, probably can't put a pattern on a party garland. I might make a table or something that we can put a pattern on just to demonstrate it to you. Okay, here we go. Uh, no, this is the wardrobe. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oop. Yeah, let's craft something. Uh, probably like a wooden table. I know that has a tablecloth, so that'll work. Uh, there it is, but I don't have enough wood to make it. Just. Uh, what about... Uh, let's just let's just get some more wood. There's trees all around. We can we can do that. Uh, there, plenty. <laughs> it's only just shy of having enough, so... Oops. I took a tricycle. I'm sorry, tricycle. I have taken you. There we go. I don't know why I put a tricycle in a big bag there. I just... I thought it was a bit silly. I thought it was kind of cute. Customize something. Okay, so now we can... No... Oh, we didn't actually make the table, that's right. <laughs> Let's craft. Okay, we can make a wooden table, which is up here. There it is. There we go. Then we can go back to the table and customize it. Customize. Okay, so wooden tables, you can change uh, the paint color. You can get a couple of different kinds of wood. Uh, which is nice, but you can also change the tablecloth here. You can have none, orange tablecloth, pink tablecloth, blue tablecloth, green tablecloth, green tablecloth custom design tablecloth, trans tablecloth, there we go, or trans sylveon tablecloth, or, um, I need to make more designs, but, you know, you get the idea. But also you get this one. Um, this is the one that Sable populates, the pattern option. So each time you talk to Sable, she'll give you one more, like, uh, page of these, basically. So each day you talk to her, it unlocks more of this. So you can get a striped pattern, rainbow striped pattern, checkered patterns, etc, uh, etc. Et Lots of nice patterns. You have pizza table, there you go. Puzzle beast table. That looks pretty fun, actually. I might use that and put like put a puzzle on the table and you can use it to solve puzzles. Um, let's go with that. Uh, you'll notice it takes four customization kits, which is a little pricey. Some things use up to seven. I haven't seen more than that. Um, but, like, customizing tools only takes one kit, and that makes the tool not break. So it's kind of the best choice in most cases to just customize one of your tools. Like, if it asks you to... If you have, like, a, a Nook goal to customize things and you don't really want to customize anything, customize your tools, because that repairs them. <laughs> Is that a Dana dragonfly, or a... Yes, it is. I was hoping it was a banded dragonfly, which looks similar, but they move a lot faster and they're harder to catch, and therefore they're worth a lot more. Uh, okay, I'm gonna sell some fruit. Um, 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 ba -ba I haven't got any fruit in my inventory. Let's shake some trees. Here's one. Yeah, it's now a little bit harder to cross that because I got rid of the land bridge, but... Uh, once the real bridge has grown, we should be good. I'm thinking I'll also probably put a log bridge on the opposite side, because there's one basically in the middle right now. I'll bring the map up, you can have a look. There we go. Uh, if I just bring up, where is the map? There it is. So yeah, if you take a look at the map, can I point at the map itself? No, I can't. Alright, um... Anyway, yeah, so we've got a bridge up there near the shops, and we have a bridge down here, or we will. I think another bridge over near the campsite would be good. Um, because over there is quite far from anywhere at the moment. And then I guess maybe one over near Freckle's house? Hmm, maybe. I'll think about it. Maybe I should focus on inclines after that, because I don't have any of those, and using a ladder all the time is kind of annoying. Hmm. Oh yeah, we need more oranges. Oranges. Here they are. <laughs> and yeah, you can just go around in island designer mode all the time. It just changes the hat you're wearing, basically. 
and makes the plus button do something. I kind of wish the plus button did something when Island Designer Mode is off, because it doesn't, and it's just kind of a waste of a button that could do something useful. Um, but I suppose if it did something really important, and then, you know, you turn on Island Designer Mode, you would lose access to that important thing, so maybe it makes sense to reserve the button for that circumstance. It's not like, um, the Kinstones in Minish Cap, which use up a whole button for something that you barely ever need to do that could clearly just be a menu option or whatever when you talk to someone. Uh, that one's really annoying. Here you go, some oranges. That'll be 3,000 bells? Yes. Thank you, Timmy. I've barely put any money actually in my bank account, by the way, because if you sell things with the drop-off box, that goes to your account. So I've pretty much just been using that instead. Whenever I need to, like, sell things at night, I sell a whole bunch of stuff in the box, and that's the only way I'm putting things into my bank. Seems to work pretty well. Uh, yeah, let's get some more customization kits. Can never have too many. They, they stack to 50 in the inventory, so you can fit quite a few of them at once, which is good. Um, I think I've pretty much covered what I wanted to cover today. I might just go talk to some neighbours, just because it's fun. Thanks so much, much! <laughs> Adorable. And we'll switch Island Designer back off, I think. Yes, I'm done. I feel like the dialogue's not really necessary there. You could just take the hat off without those two lines that are kind of slow, but, you know, whatever. A, a lot of things about this game feel a bit unnecessarily slow, in my opinion. Um, I know Animal Crossing is always quite slow, but the interface in certain places is slower than it probably should be. I am buddies with Riles on Ohana, yes. I want to race from here to there? My goodness, I'm trying to work on my backstroke. My goodness. Uh, Riles is my younger sibling, and they are quite far away from here. Although maybe the islands are quite close together, I don't know. Oh, uh, didn't I just see you over there, you know? You don't have a twin, do you? Hey, have you seen your Happy Home Academy results yet? Mine were... about what you expect. It's really weird having your style picked apart, you know. Hey, Colton. We just keep running into each other, don't we? Man, I've always wanted a place like yours with multiple levels. I'd probably just spend all my time going up and down the stairs, though. <laughs> That is pretty cute. Uh, yeah, this is a bit annoying. Um, like, it sort of makes sense, but the last option you selected in here is the one that comes up when you open it back up again. You can see it's Island Designer. If I close it, still Island Designer. It's not the one you had the cursor on, it's the last one you actually went into. It sort of makes sense, but it's also annoying because... Like, you press the button to go into Nook Miles, you're expecting to get Nook Miles, but you get something else because you've just did something else. Maybe a little while ago. Mm. I kind of think it would make sense if pressing the button when it's showing the Nook Miles icon would take you into Nook Miles, but it, it doesn't. And also that would mean it constantly takes you to best friends list because that icon is active all the time for some reason. It's... I, th I think it's supposed to detect when the, the status of the list changes, like if someone goes online or offline, but it doesn't do a good job of that. Uh, anyway, I want to sell. Uh, ba -ba. That's the table I made, yeah. Um, I'll sell the table, I don't really need it. I already have plenty of tables. I actually needed a bit more money than that, so... Let me see. Three, four, five... Oh, these are manila, manila clams. Hmm. Let's go look for some more stuff. <laughs> Anyway, um, I haven't put a path here because of these flowers out here. I wasn't sure, like, you can't put a path or flowers in the same spot, obviously, because paths stop flowers from growing. Um, and otherwise I'd have made a path, like, from the bridge going over to this, this building here, but I can't because there's flowers in the way. Hmm. Um, one good thing, though, is the way you can move trees around. I might actually demonstrate that if I get a chance. Um, but, yeah, I made this path here, and these trees, that one there, and this one here, were both 
in the way of the path, you can just dig them up and move them. Uh, you have to eat a piece of fruit first, but yeah, you can just dig up trees and then they can be replanted wherever you want. And they grow straight back to their proper height immediately. It's pretty awesome. Uh, you could not do that in previous games. Eating fruit did nothing and trees could not be dug up. Uh, you can also, I believe, break rocks by uh, eating some fruit and then hitting them with your shovel. Uh, I have never had an occasion to do that, but I'll keep it in mind. That is a banded dragonfly, let's go after it. Uh, of course. Go back. Where'd it go? Uh, I think it may have escaped. Dang it. Yeah, that's just a red dragonfly, no one cares about those. Uh... Oh! What's up, Teddy? I've been trying to catch a black bass, but I haven't been able to yet. You're my rival, so I hate to ask, but would you catch a black bass for me? You betcha. I'm, I'm your rival? Thanks, cutie. I knew you'd be up for a challenge. Oh, there's the dragonfly. It's over there, it's over there. Oh my god. Where did it go? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. There it goes. That's it. Uh, it's, it's coming this direction. Can I... Where did it go? Did it just disappear or what? So I go this way. Um, dang it. Hmm. Anyway, we're gonna look for a black bass as well. So I guess I should start fishing. I can catch some things I can sell. Oh, there's the banded dragonfly. There it goes. Come back here. That's a red dragonfly. Um, that's just a monarch butterfly. That's also a monarch butterfly. Where did the dragonfly go? <laughs> oh, there it is. That's it. Yes! I did it! Did you see that? I caught a banded dragonfly. Hell yeah. I am good at the video games. Just a, just a fact. I should probably stop running near the water. Uh... Yeah, um, if you're not holding B to run, then fish are not normally scared when you walk near the water, but if you hold B, then yeah, they, they get scared away. Which can be useful if you want to scare away fish that you don't want. You can, you can just run and then other fish will show up. Um, but generally you want to be able to catch the fish, so running around near the water is not the best idea. That's a bluegill. Oop, oh, um, I see. Okay. Yeah, tools exploding. Um, still not sure how I feel about that part of the game. Um, it doesn't really seem to fit very much. I, I guess they wanted a bit more of a survival aesthetic, since you're on a deserted island and there's horrifying tarantulas and scorpions at night and stuff like that, but... I don't know, I don't know, um, I guess I'd encourage you to craft things more, but Dragon Quest Builders 2, which you know I love, also has essentially the same crafting system and does not have tool durability. Like, you, you make some tools in that game with the crafting and they never break. So, I'm not sure why they break in this one. Oh, that's good. Yeah, um, banded dragonflies are really valuable because they're hard to catch. It's great. Uh, anyway, oop. He wants me to look at this list again. Don't know why, because it didn't change. And yeah, I'm gonna need to make another fishing rod. Hmm, anyway, that's probably about it for this video. I haven't got much else to show. Um, I haven't looked at my passport very much. You can see I haven't updated my photo in a very long time. Uh, and I haven't changed my uh, title there at all. Very first relocator. I do need to do that. Um... Yeah, I should update my photo. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll do it now. Why not? Uh, let's head outside and find somewhere nice to, to sit. Um, and then that can be the end of the video. 
Uh, we have to use a ladder to get up here. As I mentioned, I have no inclines yet, so the only way to reach this half of the island is to use a ladder twice. Uh, there's a silo. Over here, there's a nice little bit of scenery. Here we go. Yeah, that looks nice. Do 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 do. Edit passport photo. Take photo. That's a bit too far. Uh, can I pan up and down a little bit? Yeah. Um. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> and yeah, I need to change my title too, but I don't know what I should change it to. Hmm. Hmm. I'll think about it. Anyway, uh, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time, I don't know. I assume there'll be a bridge, but beyond that, I cannot say because I don't know when I'm going to be recording this game next. And I'm playing it a lot. <laughs> Hi, Shrub. Yeah, I keep checking up on you today. I was checking all the trees, yeah. Oh no. I should probably actually be reading this out, sorry. I've tried to, tried to make wasp buddies before and they did not dig me shaking their tree, boar. Uh, yeah, actually I did get stung by a wasp, I think today, and Sherb already gave me medicine to fix it, so I guess he forgot about that. Uh, thanks, Sherb. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!